Yo! What is going on, you guys? Mamba Gang, Mamba Army, my Laker fans, my Kobe fans, my basketball fans, and best of all, the millions and thousands of my fans out there in the world, man. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, man, it feels like I upload one of these long videos like once a month. I think that's kind of like what I'm averaging. Uh, it sucks because I wish I was a little bit more consistent than I had. I wish I had more actual Kobe news to kind of share with you guys, but it is what it is man i'm just happy to be able to kind of give you guys some type of content i do post more shorts i do post more on instagram as well if you're not following me on there mamba kicks dot la mamba kicks dot la on instagram and uh let's get into it man i'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible just to give you guys a little bit of feedback of some of the kobe's that are supposed to be coming out soon uh april 13th there's supposed to be some releases uh, I believe May 31st and then sometime in the fall of this year 2024 so um, yeah I don't know the only thing I don't understand is why Nike is releasing three pairs of Kobe's April 13th all in one day that to me is crazy especially when each shoe costs around what 180 200 bucks and if you're looking to cop all three that's gonna be around 600 bucks so it is crazy to me that's that's a lot of money man to drop on one in one day for shoes so obviously you're gonna kind of have to pick and choose i'm pretty sure we're not all gonna get w's for all three shoes either who knows how many pairs they're gonna produce um so yeah man but let me get situated at home i just got off work happy friday to every one of you guys i want to say thank you guys for supporting me for all the new subscribers uh, wherever you're watching, whether you're here living in the same city as me, whether you're uh, miles and miles away in another country, shout out to everyone, wherever you are, man, just love and peace. Um, and if you're a friend that I know, if you're a family member, if you're uh, someone that I used to talk to, uh, much love, man. I just want to give a shout out to just everyone out there, man. I, um, you know, I'm in a point in my life where I just kind of want to continue to grow, 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 have gratitude for everything that happens to me, everyone around me. Um, I used to live in a lot of like, um, I used to live in a lot of regret, you know what I mean? And I messed up a lot in my life where I was like, man, I wish I could go back. I wish I could go back. So, you know, I just want to say, man, thank you guys, man, for sticking by my side, for all the support, all the love, man. I wish nothing but the best for everyone out there. Um, man, this road is kind of bumpy. But uh, yeah, man, just spread the love, spread the peace, man. And uh, just to give you guys a little hint, since I'm talking about that right now, I do plan on starting a second channel here on YouTube. It is going to be more related towards like um, my inner voice. It's going to be like, in, like a a channel of my of my journal per se so instead of me writing stuff down in a journal it's gonna be me talking behind the camera about stuff that i might be going through feeling thoughts ideas anything like that that i might be feeling or going through and um hopefully it helps out some of you guys out there man that might be going through stuff like i am you know uh life tests us in different ways at times and we have to not even just as men but just as humans we have to find ways to get through all these challenges and obstacles you know what i mean and uh sometimes we don't always have the answers man sometimes we have to make the mistake over and over again till we learn uh we hit rock bottom and uh you know it's part of just growing man and i'm just in I'm, I, my life the last three to four years have been has been like a roller coaster it goes up and down i have weeks months when i'm good and then i have like a couple of days a couple of weeks months that i'm bad uh, i might not show it but you know i i try to just you know control what i can control have emotional intelligence and uh, just understand that things will always get better but i cannot dwell on all the negative stuff and let it get to me because the more negative you think the more negative things will happen you know what i mean um and that's how you start getting stressed out depressed and all that stuff and then so you start making stupid decisions 
uh but man I'm, I'm rambling about too much about about that right now sorry uh but i do love speaking behind the camera that's why i'm starting that second channel so let me head home right now you guys will get behind the camera and we'll talk about these kobe colorways coming out and uh we'll see how how many of us get lucky and you guys let me know which ones are you looking forward to copying and uh yeah man see you guys in a bit peace all right you guys so hopefully i am in frame we're gonna be going over all the kobe colorways that are set to be releasing uh sometime soon or sometime during the fall of this year uh, i'm gonna be posting a picture of the shoe here and you let me know down in the comments below if you are looking forward to some of these colorways which one is your favorite which one is the one that you're like man i don't mind paying resale if i don't hit if i don't hit for retail uh but let's get into it man so april 13th obviously we have three pairs of kobe's releasing it is the kobe 8 venice beach the Kobe 4 Philly and the Kobe 6 Italian Camo. Uh, three different OGG colorways. Yes, these are OG colorways. I believe the last time they came out, I want to say was about 12, 13 years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even longer. The Kobe 4 model is the oldest out of these ones. So I want to say maybe even probably longer than 13, 14 years. But which one out of these three is your favorite? Because if you ask me, I think I really like the Venice Beach. But if you guys know me, you've been watching me for a while. I just sold uh, my OG Venice Beach, which is brand new. I sold it for, I think, $350. And the reason, if you guys remember, is because I was afraid that at some point, that shoe was gonna start to need uh, need some regluing, and since the Pro Tro was coming out, I was like, you know what? I might as well sell it for 350. I thought it was a decent, decent amount of change to get for that shoe, and then just caught the Pro Tro that is releasing now. So, um, like I said, the Venice Beach is probably one of my favorites, but if I had to pick one of these three that are supposed to be releasing, I would say the Kobe Four Philly. The Kobe 4 Philly, because that is one shoe that I also had back then, and I sold it. Before Kobe's passing, I sold it for, I think, 200 bucks, brand new. And uh, I regret selling that, man, because Kobe 4 uh, Philly stands for Philadelphia, obviously. I'm a big Allen Iverson fan. Um, you know, both of them kind of resemble, you know, it's a Kobe shoe, and it's a shoe for the city of Philadelphia. Um, Kobe also has a lot of, I want to say, some history with Philadelphia as well. Um, if you know, you know. Um, and as far as the Italian camel shoe, um, that one, actually, I already have the OG pair. Let me pull it out for you guys. As you see here, I already have the OG Italian camel Kobe 6 model. Uh, so to me, I think this one is just fine for me as of right now. It's not needing any type of, you know, regluing. I'm pretty sure at some point it will, but this is not a shoe that I'm like very like, oh, I need to have. You know what I mean? I bought this one because I got a good steal on it. And, uh, you know, I don't mind having it, but it's not a shoe that I gotta have. You know what I mean? Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, man, let me know down in the comments below which one of these three is your favorite which one would you rather have and which one you might not mind paying resale for because you really want it um and if you don't hit for retail you'll probably pay resale for which one is your least favorite out of these three let me know down in the comments below i do want to mention one last thing you guys if you guys are looking to pay resale for any of these shoes uh, whether it's these three or any of the ones we're about to talk about, I do suggest that you wait and be patient because the market seems to be going down after the release day, man. I remember I bought the Kobe 4 Gift of Mambas for like 350 and I thought I was getting a steal because StockX said they were like at 380 400 and months after, or yeah, months after, I guess you can say, I think that shoe is sitting for around the low 300s now. So be patient, man. That's my advice for you guys right now. And also, fill out your raffles, man. Do not just gamble on only the sneakers app. You guys already know everyone and their mama and their grandma is going to go after all these Kobe's on the sneakers app. Make sure you fill out your raffles. 
on your sneaker boutiques, on Champs, Full Locker, any of these foot sides that are going to be releasing any of these Kobe's. Fill out as many raffles as you can. Tell your friends, tell your family. The more chances you get, man, you gotta understand. I know this game of buying shoes is unfair because if you're not telling your friends and family members to enter for you, other people are. That's how they're getting two, three, four pairs of the same shoe, you know what I mean? So my advice though is if you don't hit for retail, be patient. Um, use like platforms like OfferUp to try to negotiate a cheaper price for some of these shoes and uh, be patient, man. You'll get your shoe, but try to get it at a, the best price as possible. All right, now switching to May 31st. Yeah, May 31st, the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Grow Dad. So here it is, you guys. Now, I'm going to be honest. When I first saw this shoe, like the first pictures that were released, I wasn't like, it didn't make me go like, wow, I need to have it. Now, I did see a lot of my friends, my guy friends that have daughters actually really want this shoe. And obviously, it's understandable why. Uh, but to me, it wasn't like, oh, I need, need to have it. Now, I do like the colorway overall. It seems to be like it's an upper suede. And then the, obviously that greenish, like a forest green. Uh, I like it. You know what I mean? Uh, the chrome little pieces on the back and stuff like that. I don't know exactly why that is. I don't know the overall reasoning why they went with this color uh, for this shoe and then called it or deemed it uh, Girl Dad. But I do like it. Obviously, I am going to be going for it. Um, this one seems to be a little bit more, uh, to me at least, it seems to be a little bit more limited. I don't know. I might be wrong. Who knows? I haven't heard much news about this pair. I just seen pictures on Instagram and stuff like that. But as of today, what I looked up is the release date is set to be May 31st. So keep an eye on this one. And uh, let me know down in the comments below. Will you be going for this one? Will you pay resale if you don't hit? Uh, let me know. All right, you guys. So now to switch it up, these actually five colorways. Uh, I believe three of them were actually announced a little bit earlier. And then the last two that I'm going to speak about, those two were announced this week that they're supposed to be releasing in the fall. So here you have it. Let me move aside a little bit. Kobe 8 Pro Tro in five different colorways. Now, obviously we have like the East Bay colors, like the East Bay colors. If you know what I'm talking about, they have the wolf gray, that red, all red shoe, and then they have a navy blue. So they're calling those, while well, I see a lot of people calling those the East Bay colorways, because if you guys remember, East Bay used to do a lot of like team colors uh, with a lot of their stuff that they sold on their website and stuff like that. So that's obviously understandable. Now, out of those three colors, the wolf gray, the red, and the navy blue, my favorite would probably have to be the red. As you guys know, I like colors that stand out, that are bright. But if you're trying to go with something that kind of matches everything, obviously the wolf gray is probably your best choice. Uh, but yeah, man, out of those three, I obviously am going to go for all of them. But I hope I do hit on that red pair because I think, you know what, that reminds me. If you guys remember that um, it wasn't red, but they called it the Kobe A TB if I'm not mistaken, right? But it was more like a maroon colorway. Let me see if I can find a picture. I'll post it right here. But this shoe, I've always wanted it and I never found it in my size and in good condition um, and for a decent price. But this shoe right here, I always wanted. So that red kind of reminds me of that. Um, the only thing it has been that has been upsetting me about these Kobe 8 Pro Trolls is that midsole. I wish they would make it like either pure white uh because it's, it's, been, it's been coming out with these like weird like a grayish like off-white type of uh midsole you know what i mean and i don't like that uh but yeah let me know out of those three colorways which one and it's only those three i'm gonna talk about the other two which one of those three you would rather have all right so now let's move on to the kobe 8 pro Tro uh colorways that are supposed to be releasing in the fall again i don't have exact dates for any of these five colorways but i did see some news that it's supposed to be in the fall sometime uh so here we have two new colorways with actual laker colors in them so we have the kobe pro Tro hollywood knights which is that black pair with the hints of yellow and, and purple and then we have the 
Lakers home Kobe 8 Pro Tro that is all white with the hints of yellow swoosh and I believe purple in the back heel. So um, those are actually pretty, pretty nice. Now that black pair, the Hollywood Knights one, I really, really like. But this is what I'm talking about. I wish that midsole would have been like purple or kept it all black. Um, Kobe wore like a PE back in the day that kind of looks similar to this, but his was way, in my opinion, way better. I just, the midsole kind of matched the whole shoe. Um, I just don't like that weird, like grayish off white that they're doing on the midsole right now. So yeah, man, but I obviously do like both of those shoes. The white pair, the Lakers home kind of resembles the halo pair that we just got uh, recently. And obviously it just has Laker colors in it. Pretty nice. Uh, these are two different colorways, um, new colorways, I should say. Um, so let me know how you feel about those two. Let me know how you feel about all five of these releasing and which one is your favorite out of all these five. Um, I know these are all different, like newer colorways for us and they're not OG pairs or OG colors, but you know, obviously again, I will be going for all of these shoes, uh, testing my luck. And again, you guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. Please fill out your raffles whether it's an install raffle at the mall, Shoe Palace. I believe Shoe Palace actually has already a raffle going on on their website or maybe in store. Uh, check their Instagram, but they should have some raffles already going on. I believe the Venice Beach I saw earlier this morning. So check them out. Ask your sneaker boutiques, man. You know those little sneaker shops that are in your area, your city, um, that don't really have like they're not a big shoe palace. They're not a champs. They're not a full locker Those little sneaker boutiques where they have like a Jordan account or a Nike account check them out Ask them if they're gonna be raffling out any of these Kobe's Fill out your Kobe's tell your family and your friends about the sneakers app Like I said, man, this game of sneakers to cop is, is kind of unfair So put in your legwork, you know, what I mean do what you got to do if you really want some of these shoes Some of these shoes if I hit and say Say if I hit on the Italian camel, right? Let me give you guys an example. If I hit on this in the Pro Tro version, but I really want the Philly and I don't hit on the Philly, I'm going to use the Pro Tro version of these the Italian camels as trade bait to try to get my Philly. You know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not going to hate, man. You know, at the end of the day, I've been collecting shoes and buying shoes and selling shoes for years, man. So I kind of know how already all this goes. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, best of luck if you are a diehard Kobe fan and you want to cop some of these Kobe's that are coming out, man. Best of luck to you guys. Um, do not, do not, do not forget as well to follow me on my MambaKicks.LA Instagram. I show a lot of information on there about raffles i post links i even post sometimes steals that i find an offer up and they're not necessarily like my size i post stuff like that on my instagram man so follow me on there and i think that's it man i think that's all i can remember as far as upcoming kobe releases i know that sometimes we get rumors of stuff coming out but that's all i can remember for now i apologize for the lack of content that i've been posting on here i think the shorts have been keeping me a little bit afloat the shorts actually that you post on YouTube kind of give you a lot of uh, traction when it comes to subscribers. So like I said, if you are new here, man, thank you for coming to my channel. However you found me, if you're returning, I appreciate the support once again. Thank you guys. And you guys already know, man, at the end of the day, my I emphasize the mama mentality over everything. This is all shoes. This is all material stuff one day you can have it the next day you can't you won't or you may not but one thing you cannot cannot you one thing you should invest in more than just than these shoes is in yourself man to try to become a better person each and every day learn from your mistakes learn from other people's mistakes just grow as a person man as a man as a woman as a daughter as a son as a father whatever man overall just become a better person get out of your comfort zone um, start eating healthier, go out for a walk, exercise, whatever it is, man. Stop making excuses. Your time is now. And uh, I'm going to leave it as that. Till next time, I'll see you guys. Best of luck. Follow me again. I will be making another video, you guys, just to give you guys a little bit more input of my second channel that is going to be coming up. If you guys are interested in that, keep an eye out. But I will be making a, sec a second video 
on this channel just to kind of let you guys know what that channel is going to be about but with that being said happy friday to every one of you guys happy have a good weekend stay safe and uh mama mentality peace out y'all